When we move our plants inside, what we're really trying to do is, is replicate the environment that they've naturally grown accustomed to outside. Plants have evolved and developed ways to take in the specific wavelengths of light from our sun and the specific nutrients from our soil. And we've talked about that on Humble Growth. If you subscribe to the content on this channel and you've downloaded the free guides over at Humble Growth Hydroponics, then you definitely know about photosynthetically active radiation, all the lighting, and you should know about MPK, EC, everything about your nutrients, how to measure them, how many to add. So we've covered everything in the sky and we've covered everything underground, but we haven't really touched too much on the air. The importance of moving air, the importance of regulating your humidity, transpiration, respiration, and most importantly, and what this video is really about, carbon dioxide. So let's get into it. I'm just really, really excited to let you guys know, just yesterday I finished my year-long project that I've been working on, the Hydro Gardener's Handbook. It's basically everything that I've put out on Humble Growth and just condensed down into an easy to read, easy to understand guide. And I'm really proud of it. And I think it can be a really, really great value to anyone who's stepping into hydroponics or just wants a great reference. And in this video, I wanna give you guys 45% off for the holidays. So you can use this discount code, VIPHG, if you want to give yourself a head start with your indoor garden this year, then go ahead and check that out. It's going to be well worth it. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let's go back in time to Biology 101, transpiration and respiration. Well, now we're talking about the movement of water from the roots up through the stems, out through the branches, and out through the leaves. While that water is moving, it's also carrying oxygen with it. And while oxygen is being released from the leaves, as well as moisture, it's taking carbon dioxide in. So these little pores on your plant called stomata, they exist primarily on the bottom of the leaf and particular hormones tell them when to open and when to release oxygen and water and when to take in carbon dioxide. This is an absolutely crucial part of photosynthesis. We're talking about transpiration in particular. Now respiration speaks more to the actual uh, chemical transformation of taking carbon dioxide in and turning it into oxygen and how that becomes something usable for the plant. The main difference between transpiration and respiration, I don't want to lose you here, bear with me, is transpiration only happens when photosynthesis is happening, meaning that uh, you have to have light on your plant, so it only happens during daytime as to where respiration happens 24 hours a day. Respiration is always happening. The plant's always synthesizing oxygen from carbon dioxide. So what we need to keep in mind as indoor gardeners is how we can optimize the carbon dioxide input as well as transpiration and respiration in our gardens. First thing I want to talk about is humidity. If you bring your humidity too high, I'd say anything above 80% humidity can start to cause a lot of real issues. That's because around 80% is, is the same relative humidity that the stomata requires to release moisture. So if the outside humidity is the same as the inside humidity and it's trying to put something outside, it's never gonna leave. The moisture is never gonna leave the leaf. This causes a huge problem. So we need to make sure that we're moving air through our garden. And this moving air is gonna to help to constantly pull the water from under the leaf as well as the oxygen while introducing new fresh carbon dioxide to the stomata on the plant. This is single-handedly one of the most important things that we can do to our gardens as indoor gardeners is simply add a breeze to your garden. That's gonna really increase transpiration and keep bad things from happening. Uh, humidity should always remain below 80 and above 40. If you can find anything in that area, you'll be just fine and that really depends on the plant you're trying to grow. Now, us as humans, we're carbon dioxide generators. We actually breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. Plants do the exact opposite. They breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. See how that balance works there? It's beautiful, isn't it? So a really easy, simple way that we could affect big change in our garden is just be present. Uh, I have had gardens in my house where I would bring my treadmill into the, into the room and run on my treadmill to make sure I'm breathing out as much carbon dioxide into my garden as I possibly can. I have had full on dance parties with my plants. Singing with your plants is a great idea. Just exercising with your plants. Any way that you can get as much carbon dioxide out of you and into your garden as you possibly can while you're in that room. Talking to your plants, just being around and 
breathing around your plants will actually be significantly helping them, especially if you have this nice gentle breeze moving through your garden and you have your humidity optimized. So those three key factors are kind of the secret to nailing indoor gardens. I mean, we already know about what to do with our nutrients and we know about what to do with the lighting. Those two things are covered. Now that we've covered the air, you're gonna to start to see growth in your indoor gardens like you never have before. Problems that you maybe didn't realize were directly related to carbon dioxide uptake or stomata blockage, uh, those are gonna be fixed now and I'm really excited to see the results down in the comments below. Don't forget to use that discount code VIPHD to get 45% off my new ebook that's gonna cover everything I just talked about in this video and pretty much everything that I'm ever gonna talk about here on Humble Growth. So check that out. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy holidays and let's grow together. Thank you.